Kim Hai Su was selected for the demonstration team because she was good at Taekwondo, a traditional Korean martial arts. These days, most Korean children learn Taekwondo lightly. Before the 1980s, there was a strong perception that it was a place to practice martial arts. At that time, Kim Hai Su was able to be selected for the Taekwondo demonstration team, indicating how hard she worked on Taekwondo. Kim Hai Su was selected by the director who was looking for a woman who fits well with the Taekwondo scene in the TV commercial. With this incident, she entered the entertainment industry. After that, when she was a rookie, she worked as a singer as well as an actor and filmed a music video. On a Korean talk show, Kim Hai Su said that in the past, her dream was to become a backup dancer for Madonna. She once spent a lot of time talking about Madonna and Lady Gaga with Korean singer Jo Kwon. She likes plays and musicals, so she often goes to see them in person. There are often witnesses on the internet that they saw her. She usually enjoys listening to pop music and goes to listen to music lectures in personally. Kim Hai Su likes books so much that it becomes a VIP on an internet site that sells books. She started her entertainment career at a rather young age, felt inner poverty, and started reading to fill that poverty. In an interview, she once said that if there are foreign books that I want to read but have not been translated, I hire a translator to translate and read them. Kim Hai Su said that she usually stands out as a sophisticated image in her work, but she is easygoing and especially has a very loud laugh. When she was filming the scene of Extinguish Burning Money by Luxury Coat, in the last scene of the movie, Taza, the borrowed coat burned to the point where she could not return it, and she coolly solved it by saying, I buy it. Kim Hai Su presented an unprecedented dress for the first time at the Korean Year End Movie Awards ceremony. People's top concern is what dress she will wear at the end of each year since then. She has been an MC for 28 years at the Blue Dragon Film Awards, one of the Korean Film Awards ceremonies. There are few cases where one person continues to be in charge of MC for decades at the Korean Film Awards. It is the part where you can see her good pronunciation and influence. Kim Hai Su left numerous masterpieces, but the best of them is the movie Taza. Kim Hai Su played the role of Jung Madam in a Korean movie, Taza, and gained huge popularity. She played an attractive and sexy character in a Taza, leaving various famous lines, and captivating men's hearts. And she made many famous scenes by playing the role of a strong judge in Juvenile Justice, which is currently very popular on Netflix in Korea. Juvenile offenders are not severely punished because of the Youth Protection Act, which is always a problem in Korea. In juvenile justice, juvenile offenders are given appropriate sentences so that viewers can feel refreshed. In Korea, there is a culture in which fans of actors or people close to actors send coffee trucks to the filming site. Kim Hai Su is famous for sending a lot of coffee trucks then so many actors thank you for her. Her good deeds are endless. She donated $100,000 to overcome the COVID-19 crisis. Kim Hai Su started as a special representative of UNICEF's Korean Committee in August 2012 and was appointed as UNICEF's Goodwill Ambassador in 2017. She was constantly interested in children around the world in difficult conditions and visited refugee countries such as Serbia, Italy, and Greece in June 2017. She was invited to the 2015 Cannes Film Festival for the first time in her actor life. But coincidentally, the Cannes Film Festival and Myanmar Volunteer Work were the same day. She chose Myanmar Volunteer Work. That's how serious she is about volunteering. Kim is also very interested in the environment. She is famous for people who practice or know polycetic to reduce disposable products. After filming one day, she accidentally saw a trash can in the dressing room, and there were so many bottled water bottles and coffee containers used by the filming team all day that she recommended using a tumbler after that. Since then, all of Kim Hai Su's filming teams have been carrying their tumblers.